A label selector is an expression which selects a group of Kubernetes objects. Kubernetes supports two types of label selectors, equality-based selectors and set-based selectors. Equality-based selectors have three types of operators, equals, double equals, and not equals. Now let me show you some examples of how to use these guys. The first one selects all objects which have a label with the key equal to layer and value equal to business. Note that the selected components may or may not have other labels. The first and second examples are equivalent. The third selector grabs all objects which do not have a label called environment. It also selects all objects which do have an environment label whose value is not equal to QA. There are four kinds of set-based operations. They are in, not in, exists, and does not exist. For instance, the selector in the first example selects all objects with the label key layer and a value which is either business or data. The second example is equivalent to the equality-based selector layer equals business. The third selector selects all objects which do not have the environment equals QA label or the environment equals dev label. The next example selects all objects with the label layer, regardless of its value. The last selector selects all objects which do not have the label layer, regardless of its value. You can use a comma to logically and two selector expressions. For example, this selects all objects which have the layer equals business label and the environment equals QA label. You can also logically and two set-based selector expressions. You can even combine equality-based selectors with set-based selectors like this. Note that there is no logical OR operator. However, the set-based IN operator can be used to the same effect. Now that you know a little bit about labels, let me show you how to use this knowledge to actually do stuff. But first, we need to create a set of pods with labels that we can practice selecting. Note that in a more realistic situation, all sorts of objects, like controllers, services, and even nodes, can have labels. But since you've only learned about pods so far, we'll work with those for now. Okay. Here's the config file with the pods that we're going to be selecting. In the file are five pods. There's a web server, an API gateway, two business layer servers, and a data management pod. Each one of these pods has a layer label and a version label. Let's create these pods now. The first thing that I want to show you is that you can list a component's labels using the get show labels command. For instance, sometimes you may only want to see a single label instead of all labels. You do this by passing the label columns flag, or dash capital L for short, to the get command. In this case, we use the dash L flag to list out the values of the layer label for each of the components. If we want to see this done for both the layer label and the version label, we have two options. We can go the comma separated route like this, or we can list them out with separate dash L flags. Now you have some tools which will allow you to see what labels you have to work with. You can use this information to delete whole groups of components in one fell sloop. You can use label selectors to whittle down the number of components returned by the git command. For example, Let's say that you want to get all pods which have the label layer equals interface. All you have to do is use the selector flag, or just dash L for short, and specify the selector like this. Note that dash L is different from dash capital L. Here's another example where we want to get the pods which have a layer label with the value interface and the version label with any value other than alpha. You can also use label selectors to help you delete groups of components. For example, here's all of the pods. Why don't we delete all pods which have the label 
layer with the value business. The larger point that I'm trying to make is that many commands accept label selectors. When in doubt, check the cube control documentation. There are two ways of writing label selector expressions in config files, an old way and a new way. Older components like replication controllers and services use the old way, which looks like this. Simply put, the selector field holds a map of labels and their values. This is logically equivalent to the following expression written using the syntax that I just taught you. However, there are limitations with this old style of selector field. For instance, you cannot express set-based selectors with this field. Thankfully, newer components like replica sets and deployments use the new style selector field, which looks like this in a config file. This kind of selector field is not a map of labeled keys and values. Instead, it has two subsections, the match labels section and the match expressions section. The match labels section is exactly the same as the old style selector. It holds a map of label keys and values. The match expressions field is an array of set based label selector expressions. Each element is a map with three values, a key, an operator, and a values array. I think some examples are in order. Here's how you write the selector layer in business or data. Here's the selector environment not in QA or dev. This is how you select components with the label layer. And this is how you select components which do not have the label layer. Here are some additional things that you should keep in mind. The values array must be empty for the exists and does not exist operators, and non-empty for the in and not in operators. Keep in mind that all of these selectors get logically anded together. Both match labels and match expressions are optional, but you need to define at least one of them.